Hello there. Um, I want to create a video today that um, is the kind of video that I never make. I've got to be honest, it's just an advice video. Uh, I don't know why I don't make advice videos. I'm quite loath in some ways to just give people advice. As a coach, I often want to listen to what people have to tell me and then see if I can help them come to their own solution. Because a lot of the time I find 10 tips for this and five ways to get that doesn't necessarily apply to the individual that I'm talking to. Having said that, I think there are some principles. I think there are some principles and um, ways of understanding this subject that are really useful. So I'm talking about finding jobs. And I think that that is really relevant at the moment for all of us. So here are my principles. Here are the unschooled principles for finding a job. Um, the first principle is energy. Many of us at many points in our lives are going to have to find a job or the next job in order to keep us going. I think we've all been there. You know, we, it, this is a money job. I need this job because I've got to pay X, Y and Z. I've got no problem with that at all. When, in, when I've been in the situation where I'm looking at what do I want to do with my life? Where do I want to go? The question that I have to ask myself is what makes me feel most alive? So that's principle number one. What makes me feel most alive? Why is that important? Why is it important for me to look for something that makes me feel the most alive? And the reason is very simple. If I don't do that, if I don't follow that path that really speaks to, to me and my heart, I'm going to self-sabotage whatever it is I do. I'm not going to put the required effort in. Secondly is, um, once you've identified what makes you feel most alive, what you really want to do, another trick or technique that I use is to create ideal jobs in your mind. So let's say, for example, um, the thing I'm most passionate about is design. Absolutely love designing. So I've got two choices. I can either look for jobs in design or I can choose my ideal job and see if that job exists anywhere. See who does it. See which companies I'd really like to work for. Now, a lot of people feel that they have to be passive in the job search and they have to sit back and wait for jobs to be advertised. However, the research tells us that 80% of people get their job from contacts. And a great way of doing it is to approach the companies that you're interested in, talk to the people who do those jobs, maybe do an informational interview with them, or maybe even better, offer to um, volunteer in those companies or do an unpaid internship, even if it's a morning a week, half a day a week, just to get to know the people in that company for them to get to know you. And more often than not, something good will come of that. So the principle really is, you know, find what is find what you're passionate about. Don't sit around and wait for jobs to be advertised in those areas. Choose the companies and the people that whose job you want and go and be of service to them in some way. And then more often than not will be rewarded. Um, I think the third thing is, is maybe this is a little bit of a cliche, but progress happens outside of your comfort zone. So know where your comfort zone is. Be prepared to go outside of your comfort zone. It may be um, something you don't feel comfortable with, phoning up someone you've never met, asking for an introduction, asking for an informational interview. And the way to deal with that is to ask yourself a very simple question. What's the worst that can happen? And can I deal with it? So I've created this ideal job in my mind. It just so happens that job exists in this company. I now know the person who does the job. I want to phone that person and ask to take them out for coffee and find out about how they work and what they do and how they got into it. I'm really scared. I think to myself, hold on a minute. What's the worst that can happen? Can I handle it? The worst that can happen is... They'll say no. 
<laughs> what happens then? Can I deal with it? Am I going to be crushed? Probably not. I'm just going to go on and find the next thing. Um, to sum it all up, really, it's about forward momentum. When you create momentum, rather than sit home and wait for something to happen, you're far more likely to create something positive for yourself. I want to try and keep this short. Those are the main sort of principles. Um, I really hope they're useful. I'd love to know from you, actually, if you've ever used any of those principles. Have you ever done any informational interviewing? Have you found a company that you want to intern for and has that turned into work for you? Um, have you found a job through contacts rather than applying for a job in a newspaper? So do comment below and um, I'll see you on the next video.